we skip Facebook for now. Yes, uh, yeah. I think the next item on the agenda, did we discuss, does everybody understand uh, what's going on with Google Calendar? So we have two Google Calendars, basically. Mm -hmm. uh, one for official events and one for not official events. The policy, as I understand it, is that we're going to post like events of like maybe groups that are that's in line with that. us or we want to promote but aren't GA endorsed. Okay. Basically, it's an open calendar for everybody to post anything they want so they can't bitch at us. Right. We're not posting events just because they didn't go through the proper channels. And then anything that's like official, right, right goes, goes on the other calendar. Right. So that's how it's working. Um, okay. The they, it's awesome. They, um, they both filter through the same calendar, right? They're, they're on the same account, but you can see you can have different calendars on there. Yeah, see that's, this is the two calendars. So you have to click that. If you were to make an event, um, let me just clear it. Okay. Um, I'm aware that on the website it shows two different calendars. The right. top one being Occupy, like specific, the bottom one being related. <clears throat> and I also noticed that going into the calendar, there's different colors. I, w I was in there today, you know, <coughs> like editing the time for the Sunday GA, for instance, to, you know, to five o'clock. Um, <clears throat> basically, I, I was editing. You can edit them both from the same place, I think. Yeah. Yes, it's actually yeah. the same yeah. account. It's one yeah. yeah. in it. Right. And you so. can turn on or off as you're looking at it. That's how it's working. Uh, Very cool. Okay. Moving on. Um, I had something on here about discussing the policy for how we approach each social media or media tool. Um, is that something we want to discuss? Just kind of threw it up there. Like, is that something we're prepared to discuss now? Nope. I'm sorry. What was that? Discussing um, so, do we need to discuss a policy for how we employ Facebook, Twitter, the website, outside media, Occupy? Is that something we're prepared to discuss right now? If we're not, if we just don't have thoughts on how to approach it, I'd rather just skip on the stuff we can be actionable about. Got nothing. Okay, let's. The one thing that I want to have at least brought into awareness is. So as a primary email checker, um, I'm concerned about whether I have, like, am, am disseminating information in the best way. Like, and I've been trying to, like, use the intercom for that. Um, or, I don't know, I'm just trying to, like, get some feedback, and this might not be the right people to get the feedback from, ironically. Um, as to what that best way is. And also um, along those lines, so I noticed on the, the big email listserv, like the Occupy Richmond media is not on there. And I was wondering, <clears throat> and this is a potential concern I have, I was thinking about what, what would your thoughts be on Occupy Richmond joining that? But then my concern with that is if Occupy Richmond joined that and then posted something, it'd be seen as this official thing, but it's, it's the idea is to get the word out in a better way, disseminate information in a better manner. See what I'm saying here? Occupy Richmond joined what? <clears throat> the actual big listserv. It's not on that, the Gmail, the media Gmail. Okay. Um, yeah, that would be an official response. I would guess if we respond from the Occupy Richmond media Gmail account. I mean, are you saying that you want that official clout for responses? Like, this Not, is the response from the media team, or I that that was one that I'm seeing that as one potential way of disseminating information better. My concern was that the official thing that can come along with that. Basically, I'm in the media email. I get this information. I'm trying to just one way. The thing I've been trying to do to disseminate it is you know, uh, post it to the intercom, the work group intercom. Problem is. Not I, it, my perception is not many people really pay attention to that or go to that or utilize that. Um, so one alternative is to join that group and post that stuff there to that thing. And then my concern is that it could be seen as this official thing, which I because it's from an official email. Well, shouldn't media be posting things? Sorry. Oh, I I just uh, I think it's uh, again it, uh, that's kind of. Uh, if you sign it, 
if you sign your emails, that, that kind of helps diminish the officialness of it because mm -hmm. you're just one of the people on the media team. So, And, and my, my point was going to be, this is uh, the intercom email list, right? Is it, it's, uh, yeah, the, the Google group, the intercom. So, so should they be posting, the people who are coming to the events be posting that stuff themselves to there? Like, isn't that one of the vectors we would find out about the event in the first place? Um, historically, no. I just think it overcomplicates things for us to figure out whether or not, like, I don't care whether our fellow occupiers know, I just don't see why it mattered. Like, we can just say on there whether it's an official event or not, and they can make their own decisions. Let me throw some examples by you. Um, the notes, the minutes from the strategy session were sent to the media email. Could I put that out there? Can I temp check? Can I put that out there, the, ma the major listserv? That seems like something that there'd be no problem with, right? Mm -hmm. Temp check? Yeah, sure. Because yeah. yeah. when, when you emailed that to me, I didn't know, I don't know what to do with that at that point. Yeah, we should be having well, an archive. Well, put it on the stuff. website, right? Archive. Well, see, that's why, more, that's why people need to have more access to the website. We need to know what we're doing with the website because I can't be responsible for everything website, everything Facebook, now General Assembly, and oftentimes I feel like I, I, <laughs> I don't do it. I, yeah, well, here's the, here's the question, and here's my thing, because I I mean I've done you know scribe taking notes and that kind of thing, and by the time I'm done with it, <laughs> it's like I'm just done with it. Yeah. It's like I don't want to go through like what are we looking for as far as putting them up there? How do we do we want to put up just raw? You know, because I'm not taking full, they're not full sentences. There's going to be spelling mistakes. There's, you know what I mean? And, they're never... and I'm not going to take two hours to go back through that to edit that. I've taken two or three hours to do it in the first place. So if somebody else wants to edit it, great. Go right ahead. I have absolutely no, you know, I'm not married to these things. Or do we want to just throw them up there? If you want to read this, you can read it. Uh, it'll be readable. You'll be able to understand what's happening. have a disclaimer on... On yeah. the minutes that these are not complete, and, and and that was another thing. So another the facilitations minutes got emailed to the media Gmail, and like those ones seem like basically they just dissolved into nothingness. Like someone just whoever's taking notes stopped taking notes, and <laughs> probably because there was some contention or whatever. And that was something where like I could it could potentially go on the big list serve, but then simultaneously it's like it seems like an incomplete document and, and there's other instances where minutes are just like kind of like very somewhat hard to understand um, something like that it's hard to take minutes so oh, is. <laughs> one um, one proposal that came out of one of the facilitation coco meetings um, to help figure out what to do with all these minutes that we're taking and how to integrate that to the website effectively would be that every time there's a scribe who's taking minutes and I know that it sucks, but take an extra 10, 15 minutes and just write a summary. And then that summary would go into the website as a blog post. Perhaps within that blog post we can include a link to the raw minutes, but if we can get all of our minutes from all the work group meetings and from all the GAs into a short summarized blog post, like what you did on the Facebook, right? Maybe a little bit longer and thorough than that, onto the website, onto a particular a section of the website, brvaga.com, or be it occupy or be it or which, whichever we use. Um, that would ensure that everyone has access to knowing what's going on. That solves a lot of our intercom issues. It also directs more activity to the website. It also makes the, the notes or the minutes useful also, and navigable so someone doesn't need to spend 15 to 20 minutes just reading through what happened at a meeting. Also, also, it's a great for uh, the videos too. I could just put that in the description. That saves me because people don't want to watch a two-hour video or read a, a mess of crap. Did you mention points of consensus on the website as well? They, they should absolutely go on the website. I mean, I mean not like the actual points, points of consensus, consensus area on the website. I didn't mention it, but we can never get updated. Never get updated, but this is. So who wants to bottom line? Who wants? Who's willing to bottom line? What would you have to do? Go through all the past minutes and see what was consensused on, or well, at least just start from the first. The start <laughs> or start. Just start. Just start now. Yeah, right? yeah. I mean, it sucks that some of those hands have been lost, but 
let's just start now while we while we can do it. It's just we need more people. We need a my whole thought was that we were gonna shrink the access to the Facebook and expand the access to the website. And because the website needs a lot of content providers. And I mean I just don't have the mental time capacity all the time to sit there and just do all that. I can and bottom line the 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 points of consensus, there's no problem with that. The only the only my only uh, question about that is making sure that the minutes are available. And they're not all available. Right, because that's what happens half the be. time. Is somebody yeah. takes minutes and then who's got them and how do you find them? It's like, I'm not, I don't want to go. A lot so we get, we get submission there. guidelines that we write out and then we give those to the work groups. And then if the work group doesn't submit them, then it's not media's fault for not getting the information out. It's the work group's fault for not getting their minutes to media. Right. Well, this actually, come to think of it, what I'm thinking about will, will be solved if the facilitation work group comes together because if, it's, if facilitation mm -hmm. should be in charge of deciding scribes, who's got what. Yeah. And how it's going to be sent to media. Yeah, right. exactly. And that's I, I personally, okay. Okay. That's fine. I that's personally actually, will make that easy. Absolutely. For, I'll personally make that easy for you because if I'm attending a, a GA, I'm going to sit there and kind of keep a mental, either a mental note or written note of just a, so this, this proposal slight tiny description of it past. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm gonna put on the web on the Facebook every single night after mm -hmm. GA. Yeah. I'm gonna post what what proposed got proposed. Okay. Any bitty like mini description of it passed or failed. Okay. And so it, the record will be all on Facebook. Okay. All you gotta do is go That's okay fine. there it is and go and do it on that. Fine. Um the two of you guys if y'all can um do if y'all got uh, those with admin and privileges, if y'all can um Make sure that if I don't do it, that y'all are at, at the uh, GAs. Please do it yourselves. But yeah, and you, just back me up on that. But it shouldn't be hard to remember what three or four things were agreed upon in a GA, and just say this was proposed, this passed, this was proposed, this failed. It's yeah. stupid simple. So um, and, and and that'll make it easy on him, make it easy on us, make it easy on the scribe, so they don't have to sit there. Um, Go do extra work. Just, I mean, the Facebook administrator should be able to remember the four or five things that I got. I think a really important thing is though is that the minutes need to get to us like that night or at least the next day. Yeah. Because the <laughs> latest minutes we have are a long time ago on the website. So. Yeah. Um, <laughs> point of information. Um, and it, um, that strategy, the strategy minutes are also, I also, they were sent in a Word doc, but I did transform, transfer them to a Google doc and they're accessible via the media email in the, uh, the document section. That's, I'm, I'm, uh, no, it's not. I'm and, sorry. and the other thing is, <clears throat> historically we've had trouble with people submitting, sending minutes in and whatnot. I'm optimistic and hopeful that this is changing and I'm seeing some signs of that. Yeah. So once again, we, we just need to type out some guidelines mm -hmm. and get these guidelines to people. Mm -hmm. That way they know what to do. I mean, and we see the same problem in GA with the process, right? Like we've got a process. It doesn't completely suck. We just haven't gotten that information out to everyone to see where they fit into the process. If everyone just knew what was going on and we were better at like disseminating the information that we spent hours hashing out, we wouldn't have all the problems we have. So I'm willing tonight to sit down, or between tonight and tomorrow, sit down, put together um, s uh, event submission guidelines, and put together um, some guidelines for submitting minutes and blog posts. And I will get those emailed out to the media uh, listserv. I'll get those also sent to the media Gmail, because so, I know everyone in this room has access to that. I'll also send out a text to the text tree to let everyone know I've sent it. And then y'all can provide some feedback. Maybe I'll put it on an Etherpad or a Google Doc or something. And then we can just go from there. And if we can get these done by Sunday, or if y'all can approve whatever is put together by Sunday, then we can get those to people so that we start GA off right. So that we start 2012 off right. At least with communicating what's happening at the work group meetings and getting um, events up and going. Can we do a quick recap of I think there are three or four things now we want to bring to the GA on Sunday. Um, yeah, have 
Yeah, we're seeking GA permission to create a PR subcommittee of media and build a marketing campaign. And that's the only thing that brings GA as far as I know. Well, then the guidelines. Submission guidelines and event guidelines. And I don't think that the event guidelines or submission guidelines are something that need to be consensed on so much as it is media informing the other work groups of what procedures we have considered to help alleviate all the problems that we're seeing. So one proposal and one work group announcement. No, two. If you send me one proposal and the, the, the announcement for, um, for everyone to sign up to that the text minutes. tree yeah. thing yeah. for the General Assembly notifications. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Did you get that, Jeremy? No. Uh, Will also wanted to bring up the, the General Assembly update. The uh, the text the texting um, alert system for the for anyone interested in General Assembly action. Um, as far as uh, no, I, the RBA is that media needs to. Uh, media can set it up and announce that it's there, and it'll become the work group's responsibility to promote that, but. I think it would be appropriate for the media to announce that we have set it up for these work groups. So as of today, two work group announcements and one proposal. Yeah. That's an informal proposal. Yeah. I'm going to set you up your celly right now, just so it's done. Yeah, and that's, that's fine. Just announce yeah. it. <laughs> that's good, because we as a work group know what we're going to be saying at the GA and the work group. <laughs> So, I have a backtrack, slightly backtracking point. So, you're talking about needing content, and what is the status of the op eds? I ask because. Wait a minute, are we, are we adhering to the agenda here, or are we just going to bring up things? We, we, well, we, we still have a, one more, two I, more agenda. Points. This is on the website communication thing. He's saying we need content. My response is there is content that has been submitted and disseminated to multiple media members over a span of redisseminated to multiple media members on their own request so they could get it on the website. And I'm just wondering what. Uh, I have neglected to update the op ed session just because I have not had the time to. I'm waiting for training in WordPress. Which I will be more than happy to do anything, but teach anybody how to do it. it just. Um, can we maybe decide tonight? <laughs> well, when, when <laughs> can we, we decide have... tonight a training session for WordPress? I'm willing to do it tonight. I don't okay. care. I just not this second, but I mean, I'm willing to sit down with somebody tonight later tonight and do it. I don't, I don't go to bed. I'm going to go to bed. And that wasn't the intent, but it came out that way. What is that? Well, I was trying to make this up for Sally, and I put Occupy the V-A-G-A, -A, but it looks like Occupy the V-J-A. <laughs> 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 Occupy the V-J-A. What else can we call it? What do you want to call it? <laughs> <laughs> um, um, V-A-G-A, we're all sorry. Maybe it's a good marketing <laughs> The Virginia G-A. No, you're right, Rich. I said. I don't know, I do want to brand this with this appropriately, and I don't know how to brand it. Brandy's not my friend. So this is going to take off. minutes when the conversation just goes off. And Sorry. Yeah, right. so that wasn't That's supposed to be an interruption. Um, I understand your concern, Jeremy, but he said we needed content, and I've like tried to push this content to multiple media people because they requested it. Yeah. You know, I'm... Sorry for going off. It's okay, it just... It didn't get recorded. <laughs> <laughs> That's all. Um... So the next thing we want to talk about was revisit individual responsibilities within media. Mm -hmm. It sounds like we've been sort of doing that yeah. throughout the course yeah. of the meeting, but let's, if, can we go around in a circle and just say what we've been doing? Yes. All right. Um, and I'm going to help type this up as well. Okay. Um, so we have multiple copies. Um, let's start with the long one, Will. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing anymore. <laughs> That's not helpful. Um, Every day I'm playing. <laughs> I need to do less. That's for damn sure. Um, but I basically at Facebook admin, um, website, content. What, what kind of website content? Um, 
specifically the press section, I mean, the press and op-ed sections, um, posting op-eds, putting in uh, articles, um, press releases, I write the press releases, um, I try to um, be a liaison between the direct action group and media, so like I know what direct action is planning, so media can, can advertise it appropriately. Um, blog posts, calendar updates. Um, <laughs> I'm looking around what else am I involved in. Uh, I'm tr uh, trying to get, uh, working with um, finance to eventually um, do fundraising drive, online fundraising drives. Um, I don't know, that's about it that I can think of. Um, we just want to go around a second. Point, point of clarification on that. Are you talking about, what time frame are you talking about for this question? Recently, the last month? Like what are you trying to get clear on yeah. what everybody's doing? That's all. I'm just asking for clarification because I know last month is that good? Sure. Within the last month. Oh, also I've started and failed at doing workgroup pages. I just don't know how to do cut to cut uh, workgroup pages. Uh, work do work with WordPress in a, uh, in a fun and hold off on that because I think that's going to be R V A G A. Okay. Well, okay. instead of just leaving them blank, I should perhaps at least put some descriptions in the contact sure. email. Um, yeah. Actually, so I'm going to copy and paste the RVAGA. Uh, I know it might be Josh, I want to okay. delete the, uh, the drop down menu from that. So cause that way, all you got to do is click work groups. Okay. And it website. takes you directly. And it takes there. you to, a, to the site that, to the page that has descriptions of every work group plus the email accounts. Um, oh. I think that will work out well. I mean, we can. They're linked to their pages. Yeah, you know, um, but there's nothing. There's no content on the page. Oh, yeah, we so, have it. So, but uh, it's just when that drop down menu is, you click to one on any of those, you want to get a blank page. So I'm gonna take off that drop down. Yeah. Menu. Cool. Yeah. That's if we do that, that'll fix it. And let's um, let's also remove the hyperlinks under the title of each one. Yeah, I think that. Yeah. So can you do that? I sure. Right now. You got it. Cool. Um, we want to go the second Rich? Oh, um, so, I, so, shortly before the holidays, I dropped off some stuff with, uh, a special archive section of the VCU library, and at some point, I'm going to need to... Basically, there's this document, which is like what we're intending this to be, and then I've got to like amend, or I mean, basically, I'm gonna pre-amend it and then bring it to a group to like get further suggestions on. Um, basically, delineating is this a loan or a gift? I'm majorly leaning toward loan uh, of those options, so that you know, give us more options. Um, but <laughs> And also, there's some, you know, we didn't, a kind of inventory of the stuff which needs to be amended because there's some clarifying issues there that need to go on. Um, but, and this, I don't even know, this, this isn't, this kind of like, I, I originally got on this because of media, when I originally jumped on media, um, it was in the email, da da da, I, I don't know how media related this is or whatnot, but I don't know. Basically, um, it, it's it's raised a lot of questions in my mind regarding this process and how to how to I might have to talk to legal about it. Um, if anyone has any thoughts on this, um, the email thread is in the media Gmail. Um, but yeah, th there's definitely you're things I got to figure out regarding that. You're you're also liaisoning with Intercom, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I've been, 
trying to, you know, I invited some some more of the newer groups to the intercom and trying to like disseminate information through the intercom. But as, as you're probably aware, I'm skeptical about how well that is working, and maybe over time it'll work better. Did you a response to that? No. I have no response other than we're just trying to get clear on what everybody's doing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, specifically for yeah, media. Yeah, I'm. I guess I'm a primary email person, um, and so information I've kind of been disseminating to the intercom and to like specific work groups and whatnot, um, which is also a benefit if like because I'm in other work groups, <clears throat> um, where sometimes if if it's not like a general like. Facebook relevance, I can just post it on that work group page, which I've noticed is a good thing. Um, so I'd actually recommend if someone's only involved in media to maybe join another work group that they, they, they can, I don't know, at least I've noticed that the fact that I'm in media um, and in like say action has helped in that regard um, where I can like immediately post on the action work group page like oh this is going on you know someone contacted me through media but I can tell my act you know I like I don't have the consensus type of thing but I can tell like these people who might be interested in doing it that type of thing so <clears throat> so what I've got is I've got special archive stuff you're working on the media gmail and you've been liaising with intercom yeah Silva. I want to get down with the mark. Uh, uh, all I all I do is uh film film meetings, <laughs> and uh, I upload them and uh, put put little things on the beginning and end of the videos, and uh, sometimes I write a little description or something like that, and then I usually post it to uh, the media Facebook page, and I always like to tag at Occupy Richmond, so. Whatever I post on the media page also shows up on the wall. So uh, that's that's basically all I do. And uh, I've been trying. I, I'm I'm interested in filming more uh, different work groups. T so I was at facilitation last night. I I couldn't go to the strategy session, but you know, as as much as my uh, schedule will allow, I uh, this year I'm planning to attend all of council's committee meetings and regular meetings and stuff like that. So. That's going to take up a lot of time, and so I'll miss some Occupy stuff because of that. But, uh, and then, you know, I also have a strenuous uh, schedule filming comedy and live music as well. So I, I really feel like I can't really do much more than what, what I'm doing, which I feel is like a lot anyways. But, <laughs> yeah, no problem. But happy to do it. Laura. Um, secondary email person. Um, I try to respond to a lot of the more um, like educational email inquiries, press kit, press relations, as in like keeping up email lists to people who are in the press. Although it's died off a little bit the past couple weeks because there have really been no events. Um, spreadsheets. Just database building, which is getting better, and hopefully PR, and getting the things that I do theater related filmed for media purposes, which has been kind of my goal since I started. Lately, I'm a Facebook admin, but lately I haven't done any status updates. I've just basically been going through the hidden posts on like when people post things on the wall and I don't know if we know the reasons that they get hidden but I've been going through those and unhiding them and, yeah. and um, just checking out the like people's posts that they post. How and that often does that happen? Do you, would you say? Pretty much every day. Because um, I'm not looking for it, but I don't know. I didn't even know that was happening. Where, where, where can you find that stuff? It's a, it's a, it's, ha it's got something to do with the way that Facebook's, the way that Facebook works. It essentially has something to do with the algorithms that they use. Huh. Uh, and there are just some things that. I don't, I don't know if it's because people are posting multiple times or if 
marked as spam somehow. Right. That's and I don't even I don't even pay attention to if they have posted it before. I just go ahead and unhide it because right. you know I don't want people to accuse us of silencing them, like right. which has happened before on Facebook. And that's that sucks. If this is the three of us now, I mean I know I'm not doing it. I, I don't have time to pay attention to comments. <laughs> I I mean. Uh, Josh is doing so. I don't know. I've, I've, I've only <coughs> ever been hiding comments. So, I mean, it, it is. It is. <coughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's a. Facebook. It's a built-in spam filter. Is what it is. I've only ever actually removed one thing from the Facebook page. It was a horrible, like troll saying something terrible. I can't even remember. I was just like, no. <laughs> I mean, and also, I, John and Maya, I did see something on the other day that I put it on the on group me saying uh, hey, this guy has posted the same link and mm, video so multiple mm -hmm. times in multiple places. That, yeah. that Facebook will take care. That that's what that's what that is designed to deal with. Is it? But it doesn't always do it. it. Doesn't always do yeah, it. Yeah, I, mean, I, I mean, is that even though it was Occupy Wall Street related, is that considered spam? Or is, I mean, they post the where it three times in one day. Yeah, I mean, if, if they're like over and over doing it, and I also, I delete some posts, and this is kind of out of order, but I delete the posts where the people try to, set, try to sell us buttons. Those are the only posts yeah. I have deleted on there. And sometimes those are hidden. Buttons, yeah. Delete those. <laughs> like something that was hidden, Second. Chris Chris Dorsey said something about whoring, and like, no offense to sex work. That's what it is, yeah. yeah. And it was hidden. <laughs> I didn't unhide it because we have we have a lock list I think on our on our Facebook of words. Yeah. So yeah. if you detect one of those words, it'll yeah. hide the entire post. Yeah. We do have both lock lists. Yeah. For words, I, I can find that, oh, cool. that word list, and we can add more. I didn't know that actually went to effect. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. in the I'm future, out, in the, <laughs> I've been doing do a couple WordPress things every once in a while, but um, in the future with Jeremy. I'm gonna be bottom lining the RBHEA websites. Cool. Um, so bottom lining. That's still correct, right? Yes, that's still correct. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna get her done. Uh, yeah, let me know what y'all need on that. I'm so down. Okay. Uh, I I see my core responsibilities as the website. Uh, Twitter, uh, I do post events when I get them, and op-eds and content. That's me. Um, Laura, would it be fair to add to your list of things <coughs> since we decided tonight that you would do it? Um, events bottom liner? That's what I meant. Events spreadsheet. spreadsheet. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I already go on the email, so now I'll just be putting that into that document. And not that other people can't also contribute yeah, or checking, um, but we just we have one person we know who's going to bother us if that we don't follow sense. through. Yeah. 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 Basically. Yeah. Cool. Uh, event nagger. Nagger. <laughs> I've already begun to utilize the Google Calendar. Mm-hmm. Cool. That's all. Josh, what has Josh been doing for me? Um, we are distinguishing the difference though between a spreadsheet and a Yeah, yeah. I'm just. <clears throat> okay. No, don't add to the easier. Um, Facebook admin, try to keep relevant articles up there, try to make sure that we're um, resharing events not only from the work groups but from our own events page. Um, occasional little updates. I take care of the Selly um, account, which is our action. Um, texting thing, mm -hmm. um, so I, I, I repeatedly push that through Facebook. Try to get some more um, users on there. Um, the occasional tweet, um, occasional tweeter. Um, what else do I do? Occasional. I mean, occasional most things that are related to media. Occasional upload a video to YouTube. Mess with the website every so often. Um, um, <laughs> yeah, uh, gonna be making sure the events get onto Facebook. I'm gonna be working a lot with PR. I've done a lot to try to put PR campaigns into effect. Um, Are you the one bottom line the Occupy? 
There are three or four people working on the Akifon, and it's actually been up. Oh, yeah, Akifon, thank you. Um, it's actually been updated like every day or two the last week and a half. So it's it's. I, I keep hearing people go, "Oh no, the Akifon's out of date," but it hasn't been last week and a half. I didn't check it today, but um, Gabby has been keeping up with that while she's on the road because she wanted to contribute in some way to what's going on. Well, and then uh, let's continue to push that on Google, on uh, <coughs> Facebook, Facebook, yeah, yeah. Facebook or and Twitter, yeah, yeah. remind people on that that's there and at meetings, remind them of the message. Make sure people are following and all and get that message. So maybe the GA, one more announcement we can do is just to re-announce the phone number of the Yaku phone. Mm -hmm. That could be another possible work group announcement. Just to, re just to make sure everybody knows that the number hasn't updated. Yeah. If we ever get a, uh, a print you know, session in order, I would love to be able to have a handout that we can give with all this kind of information. Oh, actually, just that wrote down work on a media survival guide before GA on Sunday. Like, yeah, something that we can hand people with all that information on it. And, and, and just that way they can walk out with, with the contact information to something and, and somebody. And, Instead of just trying to remember it all. Um, For Valentine's Day, we should have a little Valentine's. <laughs> that would be a little <laughs> farther ahead. <laughs> Ron is actually, um, Ron's working on an action where we go into, Ron's working on an action where we go into restaurants and Mike checks something about how saying I love you is free speech and then asking people to tell the person that they're on a date with that they love them. <laughs> like giving them the floor. I don't remember why, but I decided to share. Um, yeah, and, and that's mostly what I'm working on right now. Also, I've been trying to get like ether pads and Google Docs shared around. I've been working a lot at intercommunications, mm -hmm. working a lot at intercom. All right, Alex? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Alex? Insights? <laughs> the last In, month. Insightful responses. In, insightful comments. In the <laughs> last month, I have not been doing much because I don't really know what we're doing. And so I don't really have much of a direction to do things. Mm -hmm. So once uh, we have decided what, it is, what exactly our strategy is for the year, that will give me a little bit better idea of the things that I should probably be doing. Uh, the other thing is uh, initially I was a lot more interested in, in content creation, but that also kind of comes back to I don't really know what we're doing. So how do I create content related to what we're doing? Um, one thing that I did actually want to bring up somewhat related to that is that I was talking to Bentley at the strategy meeting and we were talking about figuring out how to adapt the press kit um, so that we have something to give some of the other organizations that we're attempting to interface with so that we can give something to them and say this is who we are, these are the different ways to contact us. And uh, my the suggestion that I made a few weeks ago was just to I'm sorry to if we've been told before um, that I may be creating a letter for each organization is going to and that letter be the front letter of the press kit. So instead of having to alter the press kit for every single organization it goes out to, just putting a head letter in front of it with the date. Um, I mean, unless we want to have a, a, re a sesh where we come together and look at the press kit and edit it together and perhaps alter it for the 2012 strategy. Um, but as of right now, I mean, the work is what it is um, on the website. So if, if we want to alter it for each organization, I mean, what I would recommend is just having that letter. I, I'm not even saying alter it for each organization. I'm saying something that would be a little bit more specifically tailored for other activist organizations because okay. um, what's on there right now is great for the press and mm -hmm. for the general public yeah. but this is a little bit more it's just for other activists mm -hmm. or you know what, you know what yeah. I'm getting at? What I've been doing is whenever a new organization comes in I email them directly not all of them but a few of them the ones that I, that's why I said education media organizations mm -hmm. that's just specifically what I chose because okay. um, that's all I can handle really and I date the email, and in the body of the email, I say specifically what types of events are coming up, and I link them to the events that might be specific to their cause, that they might be interested in, just to get them to our website, to think about looking at our website, and then I link to them the press kit, so they can look at it as a resource. 
rather than it being tailored to their particular needs. Right, 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 right. But that's something that I want to, I want to, we need to have some kind of generic letter mm -hmm. that we could just fill in the name of the organization, the person who was getting, going to, mm -hmm. and that's why a spreadsheet is so important because all we have to do is copy and paste that contact information, plug it into the letter, and send it out to whoever. It can be a mass mailing. Okay, so what, then, then what I can do related to that is yeah. attempt to get all of that information from Bentley, because she's the one who's been... She, yeah, I've been trying to talk to her. Um, it, she's, I just haven't been able to sit down. And she mentioned at the last year that we had the fire, the fireside, she had, was um, that education outreach was going on hiatus for a month. So that's kind of why I haven't been a little bit more aggressive on getting that information from her. What do you need from her? Whatever contact database she already has. Right. <laughs> Because the truth is, I can't do, I mean, I'm working on a completely different planet here when it comes right. to that kind of stuff. Because we're getting emails from these people, and they're like, why are you talking to this person? I'm like, well, why are you emailing media then? And they're like, well, this is who they told me to tell. I'm like, oh, who? <laughs> um, I have two things. One, yeah. if we're going yeah, right. to be sending out the press kit, we need to update it. There's a timeline on the press kit that stops on November 15th. Yeah. So that needs to be updated as okay. soon as possible. Yeah. You could... Yeah. Have that. Mm -hmm. Also, it, there are things on the website, um, Alex, that um, that are relevant to our um, stra overall strategy that could be um, easily plugged into the website, so okay. content-wise, um, such as the um, like what I was doing, the op-eds. I can show you how to do the op-eds, um, but. Even for press, like the articles, mm -hmm. just go on, um, go on uh, channel six, channel twelve, channel eight, and search through their through their articles of mm -hmm. anything occupy related. You post it in there, and the way I've got it set up, it's pretty simple. All you just got, all you gotta do is put the, the day it, the articles the, the articles written or put out there, and post the link to it. I mean, I, it's pretty simple, um, which I. That, that would help with yeah, keeping, no, everything, that. keeping sure. everything up to date on the website. Work group, since we're not going to do that, that's does, that's a, like 25% of <laughs> the website gone. Uh, I have a question on that. Um, hmm? RPEC uh, emailed us their, their most recent newsletter as one of the things we could link on there. Um, consensus. Anything for I mean, the links in the media email, it's also, they, they have it on their own website. Um, who, are you, go, are you bottom line, are you going to bottom line that, Alex? I'm I'm just, I got to bottom line. Who, who's bottom lining the thing, uh, links, whatever you're just saying. Article, who's talking about me? Press article links. Yeah. Who's bottom lining that? I can do that. I was. I can't do it anymore. You can I do can that. Do that. Yes. So I can forward that to you. Yeah. About if, forward, if you forward it to me, absolutely. Yes, I will yeah. forward that to you. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. In the next twenty-four hours. Press links about us. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Cool. Yeah. Absolutely. And you're still doing the archive, correct? Yeah. So all the press clippings themselves the physical form. Well, um, <clears throat> I'm only like. Physical press I'm collecting is free stuff because <laughs> I'm not gonna you know go go around paying money for stuff and I'm not made of money. But um, I'm I'm more focused on like artifact type stuff like little stickers, RVA bandana. There's a lump of coal from the parade. You know, just just interesting. He's hoarding. <laughs> you know, little flyers. Uh, something I maybe I'll just do it. I have a day off tomorrow. I want to. I bought a scrapbook and I started it, but um, maybe I'll just print out the computer, like the articles from from the internet. I mean, and cut them out and put them in the scrapbook for Sunday. So I really want to have a physical thing we can like pass around. Mm -hmm. so, something I've been doing too is uh, whenever whenever there's a video on the local news stations, they just typically keep that stuff there for a, a short time. So what I like to do is just play it on my computer, film my computer, 
and I've been putting that stuff on the, the YouTube channel just ever randomly whenever I see those videos posted. So yeah, I Sometimes. noticed I noticed I noticed something that's hard to like link to because it's like embedded in pop up window or yeah. something. Yeah, yeah. So I just make my own movie of it. <laughs> well, so are we done with this component of the agenda? The yeah, I've got I've got a uh, word from everyone. I will. Did you also record that? I did, and okay. what I'm thinking is that we can look at the minutes, we can see what people are doing, and then maybe at the next meeting we can talk about things that aren't being done yeah. and try to spread that responsibility all around. Yeah. Can you put that on the agenda? I'll yeah, the I'm, yeah, I'm already creating an agenda for the next meeting. And are we cool. following, we're following, we're following, we're following the protocol with, that we started a few weeks ago about like how the meeting is dated? That way we know yeah. what was covered and what wasn't for each day. Because for a while we just kept adding to the same agenda. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, wait, we already talked about these things. Let's put them under the dates. And if you change it and it's a, dra a radical change, just initial it. So that we know that like it was maybe altered in a, in a complete way. Like if you add something completely out of context that wasn't discussed. Mm -hmm. Oh, I um, so the only other thing that we had to discuss was addressing communications within media. It's quarter to ten now. Table. <laughs> yeah. I say what, table. What else do I need to, to worry about? We've got the group meet. Everyone's on it, right? Mm -hmm. I, have, I, have, I have a question. No, I'm not. There's, no, there's a couple people not on in the media. Um, I have a question for you. Yeah, you actually probably. Um, regarding <laughs> you being Jeremy for that. <laughs> Regarding the um, <clears throat> press article linking page, is there a <clears throat> feel free to say no? A simple way to crawl that instead of having to have someone manually go through all that labor? You could set up a Google search. Oh. You could. For, for no, what? no. The the press article linking page. Mm -hmm. Have a crawler do that automated in some mm -hmm. way. It would not be easy. Yeah, and it would, would be a major case. expenditure of effort. Okay. And it probably would be very sloppy. Yeah, yeah. Right. It's a good way of measuring how much press is actually being conjured up recently. Like it's uh, we've been, we've had the back page of like, what is it, Style Weekly. We had it for like three or four weeks. We didn't have it this past week. What do you mean we had it? The, the, it was about us, essentially. Oh. Yeah. Um, so there, there has been a slowing down, and I think that's because we have had less larger public events. Um, so mm -hmm. are we thinking about possibly putting out a press statement for this weekend? Well, about what? Uh, the, the, a weekend the, of, the, of the first, the first, well, I'm sorry, just to answer my own question really quick, was just like, you know, maybe the, you know, invite the press to, our, we've been hashing over strategies, our first 2012 General Assembly, or the Occupy the Hood in Southside, I was which is over 90 people at this point on Facebook. I'm glad, I'm glad you said something because it reminded me that I wanted to ask y'all about um, doing a press release after the GA on Sunday for Monday, for the Monday news cycle, basically saying that this, that we're our, our new strategy is going to be focused on the Virginia General Assembly, um, the laws in session, um, and then we're also welcoming, just welcoming our new brothers in arms or whatever you want to call them uh, in the, uh, with the Occupy the Hood, um, or any other relevant topics that y'all want to post in the, in the news release. So news for Monday? Release. Huh? So it would be a for Monday because yeah. the events are this Saturday. Yes, because I would like to, I would like to get it a week. At, a proper press release is issued a week before anything that happens. I would like to get it out there Monday news cycle that we're doing that we're we're back. Um, Can we time check that? Well, I've been there, there's a <clears throat> so I guess what I'm hearing is. You want to do a press release based on consensus upon decisions at the GA? Uh, yes, pretty much. Okay, uh, my impression from Graham's proposal was that that GA wasn't when the consensus upon decisions were going to be. It was going to be on the Monday GA the next day, which isn't actually Probably. isn't actually advertised anywhere. 
and has conflicting other things going on. Yeah. Um, so that's a huge issue I see with even getting into that. Have you guys seen the Occupy the Hood outline? Do I need to email all of you? Mm -hmm. uh, I was asked to facilitate, Mark asked me today, Mark Carter, and I'm going to be doing temp check on Saturday. They have a highly organized event on Saturday. Like They've been playing this for weeks, and it's 9 a.m. to 5, and they have it straight up packed, back-to-back -back workshops and an actual facilitation team happening in the middle of the day. Um, they're going to be making decisions for Southside. I, like, I don't know. They're really trying to like get their neighborhood going. It's going to be an event. I'm just saying. Yeah, I know it's lovely. I, I'm just. I don't. I don't know where this. It's. It's come out of it all. But um. I mean, if we're gearing any attention on anything, I mean, that would be a good one to gear attention on. Um. I don't think we can release it. Not that I'm opposed to the intent of releasing a, pr a press release about Occupy the Hood, it's just not GA endorsed. If it's not GA endorsed, it's not GA endorsed. I guess. We can always post stuff as individuals to the yeah. wall. Yeah. Or, or even an invitation. I mean, I think, I think it's got a lot of. Uh, I think Occupy the Hood should release that press release. <clears throat> I don't I have no problem sharing our press contacts with them, mm. but that should be their responsibility, it's their event. Mm. Okay. So come check on that. All right. Idiot. Um, if, you're, if you're in contact with Jason or whatever. I'll, I'll be seeing him. Are you coming to the education outreach meeting tomorrow? I'm not. I don't think so. I'll be seeing him at noon. I'll, I'll get him the list. Okay, yeah. Or if he needs me to email them. Is that the same location as this? Yeah. At noon, right? Yeah. That's tomorrow. Oh yeah, he's calling my mom. Hello. I think it's gonna be big anyway. Hi. Yeah, it's gonna be really good. Um, Sorry. They, they might have already invited. That's all I know. Well, a bunch of these flyers are being handed out at the strategy meeting for people to disseminate. <clears throat> and my concern is it's really, really long. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> eight hours. What? Really long. <laughs> yeah, because they're doing, um, they're doing a picnic, a kids event. It's kind of, the idea is like a free-flowing, like, come when you can. Um, but they do have lots of time, which people have committed as coming to certain times for certain things, which is really cool. I think it's a great way of, I think it's their way of saying, you know, we did our solidarity rally, that we're going to try to do another event example of that in Southside. Um, and they have brought up a lot of interest on Facebook, like, because they put up, like, at least 10 videos, if that. Mm -hmm. They put up a lot of videos. Really cool. I mean, we're talking about branding. I mean, yeah. I kind of want to be working with these individuals more. Because, I mean, they were really smart at their campaigning. Um, and they only did it in two weeks. Oh, I see the list. Occupy the Hood? Mm -hmm. They're video. They've been doing video yeah, they've been, for months. They've been organizing since yeah, Kanawha. since we were in Kanawha. Oh, okay, I just mean when the, the little flyer came up on the what, Facebook individual page. Oh yeah, no, they they've been yeah, that's been. That's awesome. Um, so for Monday, a press statement. Do you think, or should we GA? I just. Do we what, touch what, that? Why would you not want to? Notify the press that we're back. We don't have a. We don't. Have, if if to put it out before GA, it's not. Yeah, it's not GA. after after <laughs> GA. Well, if it if it's something that we that GA gives their, you know, that they can sense on and they say that's a good idea, then that's fine. As far as I personally, you can concerned. propose it at GA. Yeah. So the second proposal. Two proposals, three announcements. And so you're trying to release a press release that just says we're back. Um, Wouldn't that say we disappeared? Because we never disappeared. No, well, well, we we did issue a press release saying that we're going to we're going to be spending the next whatever making plans. Um, I think it's appropriate that we send a press release saying that we have we have concluded our that this period of planning phase two is in effect. Yeah, that's why they should be the GA on Sunday when they're supposed to leave on the Facebook of 40 people committed. That's not the point of a press release, though. A 
press releases to give them pertinent information either about something that has happened or something that is about to happen. Um, well, essentially, it's to let the press know what's going on, right? What events do we have coming in the next three weeks? What major It's always been my understanding of press releases. Well, I mean, about. if that's, it depends on what, on what, on, on the context that you're, that you're working in. Okay, if, truthful question. Which event in the next three weeks yeah. is a rally or some type of conference? January 11th. January 11th, there's the January 14th VPA, there's the January 15th statewide Occupy Unconference, there's the January 17th uh, Occupy Congress in D.C., there's the January 16th Martin Luther King Jr. Day, that would be when we want to release the press release, because we want them to pay attention to everything that we, you know, I can say. make a press release with a list of those events happening. No, but we need to, we need to strategize as to which event we're going to come yeah. to. That's the thing. It's not just about conveying information. See, that's where I feel like there's always been this, like, kind of like, are we just telling them everything we're doing, which is one hand, they can just go to our website. I mean, if we want it, I think there's a difference between sending them a letter and being like, hey, this is the kind of thing that's been going on, go to our link. Another thing completely is send them a formalized statement with our logo saying, this event's where you need to be at because yeah. this is where we're going to have people. That's branding. This is our highlighter. Press releases are our highlighter. Of what's going on? Do you not think that no, the, I don't the think. rally at the general assembly is not highlightable for them? I don't think that's been passed by GA yet, Will. And when it and do you do you, do you really think it's not going to be passed by GA? It's not a people. It's not necessarily not I mean, necessarily. Yeah. The, the, the I don't think that that's where we should focus our energies. I I don't I wouldn't even necessarily guarantee it just because of the number of people who are. Disinterested, completely disinterested in working within the established system. And so y'all, so y'all are okay. Y'all are okay with yeah, you know, that's y'all are okay with sit, standing by and letting. The, I'm not. That's, yeah, that's not the no, discussion no, 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 no. here right now. What we're that's talking right. about is the press release because no, we're because, at immediate. Because I've said it before. If Occupy Richmond doesn't go after the General Assembly, then I'm fucking leaving this group because it, this is what this is what the Occupy Richmond needs to be about. It, it's is. I mean, what what the hell are we fighting for? Well, that's that's not up to us. Yeah, yeah. I understand, it's, but you know, I understand, but if, if this is the kind of lack of days, we'll, I mean. But but is this is, is the media meeting over now? <laughs> I, no, I I, I, agree I I'm with fine shoot the shit, but like I I just sent out the minutes, so. I'm <laughs> yeah. Because that's it. That's why. <laughs> now, as far as like sitting back and doing nothing. I don't think that that is what we are intending to do. It's not what I'm intending to do. But I'm tired of going to these assholes and begging them for my rights. We need to build alternative, parallel institutions that can put pressure on them. There's That's only, what there's I'm trying to There's only a few people that are going to be I inside the, the, general, the General Assembly doing you know, actual lobbying work. And those are, and that's on our own accounts. That's not, that's not the representative of my conversion. But there needs to be a presence at least outside the building, and that's fine. Making the proposal will will bring that to those people's attention, and they'll be able okay. to do that. But see, what I'm hearing is that the GA, the General Assembly, is not a uh, is not an important thing. It's not. A, it's I'm not. not, I'm not, not I mean, nobody's Josh, saying. You just that. said. You All just I'm said, saying is that we have a just large said, contingent of people towards the General Assembly. I think that there's a tremendous amount of people in the General Assembly, as evidenced by the last one we had, that are very interested in what mm -hmm. you want to do. Right. Yeah. And right. that's why I asked, do, you, do we really think that's not going to be passed by General Assembly? By the, by All I said is I would, we, we shouldn't guarantee it because there are, there's also a large contingent of people who feel the same way Jeremy does. That said, I wouldn't block it. Right. Yeah. I would support it. Right. And I think it would pass. Right. I think it'll probably but pass. But it's not our job to anticipate what GA will do. Right. I mean, it w within reason. But I mean, yeah. I, I mean, I'm, this is something that we need to be prepared to hit, like, like, hit, hit the ground running. running. No, so, you're right. Hit the ground running. So I need to, I need to act in preparation for GA passing this, and I need to be, uh, and I need to be ready just as a, as a point person for the uh, all the G the GA activities. Stop. I need to be ready for that. Be right. ready for it. Have some yeah. pretty show. Yeah, I'm ready. Don't see any way on that. You need to. It just looks better, and also for record keeping. I mean, afterwards, I mean, it just. And, I and want again, everybody to type up. And again, that's why you know, have, preparing for the press release, saying that that's a, a major event that Occupy <coughs> Richmond will be doing. 
preparing to release that. Yeah, have sure. it prepared, yeah. and if it pro- and if it passes, then yeah, that's what that's, what, that's all I was saying. I wasn't saying it, it, it to release it on Saturday. You know, I was going to say after Sunday's GA, I have a, a statement ready to go. I can edit it a little bit if I need to be, but I have it ready to go. And as soon as GA is over and we agree on it, it's out there in the inbox. Good deal. Yeah. Okay. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> you, just, I, you gotta understand. I'm extremely passionate about this, and I don't. I do not like talking. Oh, no, really? We, this is not something that we, I'm, I'm concerned about because well, we will be concerned about it when it's when it's already been passed and we didn't do anything about it. So my question well, then would be to distinguish between press statements. Are we then going to propose on Sunday a press statement for another event in three weeks? For the Martin Luther King Day. Or I, think, I think we should. I mean, we should. I think we should put a lot of content into one press release. And we, I, one, no, I don't think that's true. I think we they, each press release should be focused. We don't. They should not be a lot of content in each yeah, press no release. Way. And we should be hitting them once a week. This is this. This is this. This is this. Because number one, that's going to start to establish relationships with the people that we're sending them to. And number two, it's also then we're making those decisions on our terms about how they're getting communicated as opposed to them just deciding these are the ways that we're going to talk about this. We're already starting to set up the narrative. If you want to talk about like public relations and all that kind of stuff, you need to be thinking about that. It's like who is going to be in charge of the narrative? That's the thing. That's why I was, that was, why I was um, somebody we were kind of playing with me being press liaison when Monroe Park happened and I was emailing people directly telling I mean ever pretty much once a week um, that kind of that role became kind of diminished though when, um, when we couldn't really see the differentiation between this one-on-one emailing someone and building that relationship with that one person from the press and making press statements that go on the website I think they're two different things uh, I really do. I, I think something that somebody sees in their email and they're like, hey Laura, what's going on with Occupy this week? Just so they know they're relevant. I haven't had those emails in two weeks. Right. They're just not sending them because they're going to the website and looking for a press statement that necessarily won't be there or it's about, you know, right. all, we have to be choosing what we're talking about. Um, mm-hmm. Some people were very angry that we never put on the website a, a thank you for the rally, for the organization of the Solidarity Rally. That's just one thing that was mentioned. So. I mean, just, it's just a thought. It's just, you know, we'll think about it. I think just generally, I mean, there's been less emails lately just for several reasons. Being, you know, holidays and just kind of us going business. under the radar a little bit for a little while. Yeah, we're not really doing it. Yeah. Totally, I get it. It's just, I think, I think this is good that we're trying to distinguish the difference. Because there are.